Hello, my name is Mr. Jeff Longacre, and this is the Flipped Classroom. This is a video on the introduction of a golf unit taught in high school grades 9 through 12. Over the next six weeks, we will cover the following. The grip, the stance and alignment, putting, chipping, pitching, and full swing irons and drivers. In golf, we use different types of clubs. Uh, the standard set of golf clubs includes three woods, numbered one, three, and five. Uh, those are uh, different sizes, and based on the distance you want to hit it, you would use uh, one of those clubs. Typically, a first hit drive uh, on the beginning of a hole, you would use a one iron, um, unless the distance was a little closer, um, then you would use a three or the five based on your uh, ability. You then have seven irons, typically numbered three through nine, and uh, there are one and two irons, uh, but typically those aren't used all the time, unless you're a, a pro golfer, and even then sometimes they don't use them. Uh, you also have a pitching wedge and a putter. And according to the rules of golf, a golfer can carry any combination of 14 clubs in his or her bag. Uh, pictured in this slide uh, is a golfer getting ready for an approach shot to the tee using an iron. Uh, in looking at this, it looks like it's a 7 iron. Um, American golfer Ben Hogan once said, good golf begins with a good grip. So we will uh, have clubs in our hands uh, tomorrow on the driving range and we will work on our grip and stance and alignment and have a hands-on opportunity but I wanted you to be familiar with what we're doing uh, prior to just getting on the range so that we can spend more time hands-on. Putting is an important part of the game. Uh, once you've reached the green and you're on the green uh, you use the putter shown here and that's what you use to knock the ball in. It doesn't take a lot of effort, but it's important that your stance and grip, as well as how you swing the club, uh, will allow you to make the putt. Uh, making putts is more about setup than the stroke. Another shot in golf is a chip shot. Uh, chip shots are short shots played around the greens with any golf club. Uh, usually a five iron to a sand wedge and the basic idea is to get the ball on the green and rolling as soon as you can. Another shot is pitching. A pitch shot or a pitch uh, is a shot played with a highly lofted club that is designed to go a relatively short distance with a steep ascent and a steep descent. Pitch shots are played into the green typically from 40 to 50 yards or closer. Now what you have in your bag for those intermediate shots when you're not on the tee and not on the green are the irons. And the irons are made of metal. Uh, they're typically used by golfers when their ball is fewer than 200 yards from the green. And as I covered earlier, they're numbered 1 through 9. Uh, the irons have a higher degree of loft depending on the number. So the higher the number, the higher the loft. And uh, there also are middle irons, the 4, 5, and 6. Uh, those are used uh, to hit balls anywhere from 150 to 170 yards. And your short shots are your 7, 8, and 9 irons. Um, they get the ball in the air really quick. Uh, for example, if you're near the green, uh, say 75 yards out, and you want to try and chip it, correction, uh, pitch it uh, to the uh, pin, then that's what you would use is you'd use your pitching iron. Um, and uh, as I covered earlier, a normal golf set contains three through nine irons um, because the one and the two irons are difficult to master. They're very rarely seen in a, in a golfer's bag. And as I covered earlier, once you start a round of golf, each hole you start at the tee. And that tee can be uh, different distances uh, depending on the course. Uh, this is probably a par 4 over the water, uh, so this individual is using a drive, driver number 1 and probably wanting to hit it about 300 yards, uh, probably based on his experience being a pro golfer. 
um, a par four hole, for example, is 400 yards away. That's where the pin is placed. And uh, if you can hit a drive a good distance and you have some iron plate, you can become a pretty good golfer. And finally, I wanted to show you what a scorecard looks like because when you go out on the uh, golf course, you keep score. And on this scorecard are lots of different numbers, distances, handicap, uh, different spots to play depending on your handicap and skill level, as well as uh, women's tees. Um, they also have the uh, handicaps, distance par, things of that nature. Um, the goal is to play as few strokes per round as possible. And a golfer score is usually expressed as a difference between the player's number of strokes and the par score. And a hole in one occurs when a golfer sinks his ball in the cup with his first stroke. Uh, typically, hole in ones happen on par threes when they're short. Um, par fours and par fives, uh, I'm not aware and of any hole in ones. There probably is, but they're very far and few between. Uh, you'll enjoy this unit. We'll try and do as much. Uh, lecture on video as much as possible so that we can spend more time on the golf course and on the driving range. So I'd like you to um, come to the driving range tomorrow with a putter, a pitching wedge, and a 7-iron, and we'll get started in this exciting uh, unit, which I think you will enjoy.